Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Stun. Amen. You know quite a bit. I went to church, bro. I yeah. could do the whole thing. Do Can the whole you? thing. Yeah. Do it. Our Father who arts in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Who like, arts. That's so, so he's sad. doing art in heaven. <laughs> Our Father who art in heaven, yeah, hallowed so, no, be no, thy no. name. I want to dissect the Lord's Prayer. Hello, Demi, by Hi. the way. <laughs> Everyone, this is Demi. Actress, Hi, I'm Demi. <laughs> entrepreneur extraordinaire. She's going to start off by doing the Lord's Prayer. Our Father's doing art in heaven. I like to think he's doing finger painting. E. Fingering Don't in take heaven. fingering. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't finger in heaven, what's the point of going, bro? That's true. That's true. Uh, okay. You can only fist. Okay, what's the second line then? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Yes. Thy kingdom come. Definitely <laughs> hallows. Is that what the Deathly hallows is from? Nah, you read Harry Potter. You know it's not. Huh, maybe. Well, maybe. Maybe though. I don't know. Maybe the Bible ripped off J.K. Rowling. I think that's likely. I'd say so. They both don't like um, trans people. Yeah, true. <laughs> that's that fast. is fast. <laughs> and nobody fast. asked either of them for their <laughs> no opinion. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you, Demi. I know. It's so how long, well. how long are you here for? Uh, just another week. And, and you came to... like a week ago? Yeah, yeah, just here for a couple of weeks. That's crazy, man. How long have you been over in the States now? I come back every year for a couple of weeks, but like uh, I've been there officially uh, for two years. Two years. Yeah, you want it nice and you close. You can move the microphone Sorry. to you. I wasn't close enough. So, two years. It feels longer for some reason. Uh, I left at the end of COVID, so 20 I guess more, we, end of 21. Yeah. Is yeah, that two true. years? And since, true. since you've That's been... That's longer. Okay, two and a half. <laughs> yeah. Since you've been in Hollywood, it's been exposed as pedo wood. All this stuff's coming out about the cults. Can you tell us anything about this? Look, I've not uh, participated in No, no, I'm not <laughs> saying you have. I'm not saying you have. I moved, Frenchie had this in the dock, and I moved it down <laughs> because I was like, there's more relevant no. things to ask. No, that's and the he first thing I wanted to ask. That's the first thing I wanted to ask. I don't know if it's that in the female community, probably. No, but it's culty. Has I mean, she heard know. anything? Any of her friends heard anything of what? What's going okay. on the culty? Like, how do you become the axis of evil, the, the the lizard person? I actually don't know, but when I go back, I'm going to research it. Yeah, maybe ask around. Ask around. Mm-mm. Visit Harvey Weinstein in prison. Does he take random visitors? He probably does, to be honest. He'd be lonely. What sort yeah. of prison is he in? I don't think a good one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they, they, prison they should put him in? Like a gym. Why? Because he does, because he's a fat cunt. He doesn't Are work out. Are there gym prisons? Yeah, but like then it's like you've got to get healthy and exercise. Okay. And then so so no, that's I automatically. Think it something a little wait, worse wait, than wait, that. wait for it. <laughs> I agree. Wait for it. He's so go he's like, oh, I like to eat donuts and and commit essays. Um, so he in the gym prison ends up getting fit and healthy, looks good. Then you transfer him to maximum security when he's looking all good, and then everyone wants a piece of that. Then he gets his come up and question. Yes. Have you seen Harvey Weinstein's head? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I don't think it's just his body letting him down. <laughs> that looks like the fucking moon. <laughs> <laughs> the dark side of the moon. <laughs> oh man. But great theory. You yeah, should you're, run right. Past. you're right. I was waiting until we had someone from Hollywood to run my theories past them. I, uh, someone higher level than me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't in Petalwood right now, but, you know, Not give me a yet. few years. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. But that's why you haven't booked a role lately, maybe. That's so rude. Oh, that is rude. He's just calling me out of the podcast, No, I'm saying bitch. because you How haven't you know sold... you booked? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying because you haven't sold your soul... It's harder for you to book roles. That's what you should have ones. said. That's not what no, you said. That's what you can infer. <laughs> Hallowed be thy name. You can infer, read between the lines. Sorry, I have to set up everything. Thy kingdom come. Because you are so talented and you crush your auditions, but somehow you don't seem to have uh, oh. Oh. fairly oh, booked, we're there again. booked the role you wow. deserve. We're heading there again. <laughs> booked the roles you deserve. we've moved on. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Is this a podcast or a fucking <laughs> roast? Like, oh, we can be both. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't say you have to go to a gym prison. Oh, God. <laughs> stop fucking rolling. Then. I'm glad I took the zinc, the zinc off Hopefully my face. Hopefully my face has let me down like fucking Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> uh, so two years in Hollywood. You haven't met the pedos yet. Mm-hmm. What, are, what are the main... Because we've both been to LA. I remember. Yeah, That's yeah. Time. <laughs> and like it is different than you see in the movies. Yeah, it's dirtier. It's much dirtier. A lot more people on crack than they like yeah. show you in the movies. A lot more tent houses. 
which is sad, but yeah. that's true. It's worse after COVID. They fucking love camping that. there. Yeah. They love camping. Camping outdoorsmen. Because we... <laughs> Big we, outdoorsy city. <laughs> we do our camping in the bush. Mm. Um, we do it out like... <laughs> they did it on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> they do it on the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> they get the tents up. Yeah. They cook their little s'mores up. Yeah, it's not... Instead of s'mores, they like doing this thing called hair rolling. <laughs> <laughs> little small for your oh, vein. A little small for your vein. A little marshmallow for the soul. That's what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so that was one of the main things we noticed when we were there. Are there other things, people, that kind of shocked you when you moved there? I mean, there's a lot of things that, like, it's, a, it's like, pretty different. I thought when I'd moved there, like, it wouldn't be that different because it's an English-speaking country. Like, yep. I didn't have to learn a new language. Yep. Like, But there's there was a decent culture shock. Yeah, for sure. What about the acting scene? Are there anything that you thought it would be different? Oh, I actually thought that, like, when I landed, I, they would be like, oh, my God, who the fuck is yeah. that? She is beautiful. Let me cast yeah. her in everything. They say that. They just don't do it. Yeah. No, they, <laughs> yeah. Say, they say yeah. it. They say it. Yeah. But, you know, everyone is a bit of a full of shit person in yes. L.A. They it's promise the world. world right? yeah, yeah. Promise the Big world. Big talkers. Salesmen. Yeah, they just talk shit, don't they? Oh, yeah. stay in touch. And and the thing with I find well, I've only ever met like two of them, <laughs> but tell me if I'm right or not. With agents and managers and Hollywood people, is that they're worried you might become famous later and you have mm. a bad relationship with them, even though they think you're shit now or whatever. <laughs> so they're all so fake nice to you. They're like, yo, I yeah. will definitely try to get you yep. in this thing. They want to leave a good impression just in case somehow you're in a position of power to make the money later. Mm. I mean, that's totally possible. Like, yeah, yeah I don't know why they're... The, I mean, I guess it's better to be nice than rude, but it's I prefer to be technique. honest. But yeah. it's fake Honesty's nice. nice. It's, I'd prefer honesty. You can be honest and not a dick as yeah, well. Totally. Yeah, totally. Oh, but that's it's, tough. It's, it's tough. It's, it's tough. effort, though. It is effort. And it's easy to much, just be like, yeah, yeah, we'll call you for sure. And then they don't. That's they worse. Don't. Yeah. That's worse. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> well, I do, well, I do think um, – so can you go back to when you first got to Hollywood? You had an agent? Yeah, so I came over – I won the green card lottery. Did you? I yeah. don't think I realised that. That's yeah, sick. yeah, yeah. I, well, I was first on an O1 visa, which is like the talent yep, visa, yep. and then I won the green card lottery, which literally everyone should enter every single year. Me and Tonya are in it this year. Fuck yeah. yeah. Enter it every year. It's free to if enter. one of us gets it as well. You both get to go. Yeah. Free to enter. You know, you know when, like, okay... Congratulations on winning it. Oh, okay, thank He's you. going back to Pedo Wood. No, I'm not. He's like, remember you didn't win any roles. But I'm saying, okay, let's say when Taylor Swift was touring, there would be like this 30-year-old bloke who got tickets just because he could. And he's like, I don't even like where I'm going. Yeah. Where people are so much more deserving to go to Taylor Swift. I don't think. I think there's, you stole the spot of a poor Mexican family could have used that Mexico green card. Mexico is not allowed <laughs> in the green card lottery. Thank you very much. Are they not? No. Oh, they a, just swim there anyway. It's a diversity lottery. So they're looking for people from countries they don't have a lot of, like... Oh, yeah, they're in they're in the raft lottery. <laughs> they yeah. get tickets for the raft. So, like, Canada's not allowed, like, England's not allowed, um, We're Mexico's diversity. not allowed. We are. You know. So to explain it for people who have no idea what we're talking about, so it's basically a green card, which means you can move there. It's like a visa. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is pretty much submit like a passport photo, some information to the government website. A lot of people get fucking stitched up. Yeah, with if anyone asks websites. you to pay, it's yeah. fake. It's totally free. Yeah, so you put your name in and it's a lottery. Like I think all you need to have done is finish year 12. And not have committed criminal a crime. Criminal record. Yeah, no oh. criminal record. So yeah. Frenchie's fucking yeah. out. Oh, yeah, not getting in. <laughs> no, I didn't get charged. It was the year 12 part I was talking about. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't get, I didn't get charged. Yeah. Can you submit like a, a like sexy passport photo? No. No, it's going to be like a Quite strict real passport. guidelines, yeah. yeah. Uh, America's strict like that. Yeah, nah, fair, 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 mm. fair, fair, fair. Okay. But no. you so you when'd you get that? You can smile in your... Uh, driver's license though in America, or at least oh, in California. That's cool. That's cool. I always look cool. like who wants to smile killer? at the Dave and I don't DMV, want to. Though. Mine yeah. looks like I'm a murderer, and I showed everyone, and they were like, "Why didn't you smile?" And I was like, "Can I?" And they were like, "Yeah." <laughs> you have to go get another one. <laughs> I wish. Now I have to. I've got, well, got to wait yeah, like ten yeah. years or whatever. <laughs> but then you're still a murderer. You're just like a happy murderer. You're like, whereas at least you're like mm. saddened by the kills you've done. But I'm not a murderer, so. <laughs> That's something a murderer would say. Yeah. Oh, she got the green card lottery. She's not allowed to be a murderer. Oh, yeah, yeah true. Yeah. Well done. Okay, we're probably murderers. We didn't get it. True. Yeah. So you came over with an acting agent. You're like, okay, I've got a little leg up here. I've already got my agent. Yeah, so because I was in the O one originally, 
If you mm. have an O1 visa, you have to be sponsored by an agent or a manager. And so I already had one when I came over with my green card. And it's different to like an Australian manager unless they're like an international one. But normally you'd have an Australian and American. Yeah, I had both. I had yeah. my Aussie one and then I had my... Um, American manager. Okay. And and the auditioning process, because we've got a lot of aspiring actors who listen to our, th- our podcast. Really? <laughs> yes, we do. Because you see on like Entourage or whatever, you go to an audition, there's like a line of similar looking people to you and you're like, oh, fuck, I've got no chance of getting this. Everyone looks the same and they're all doing their lines in the seats. Is that like... So that used to be it pre-COVID. Oh. Now, post-COVID, everything is done by self-tapes, which are like a video that you like you go in somewhere and you have someone read with you and you record a video that you then send casting. Yeah. Snapchat. Basically. It's Snapchat, but it lasts longer. It's probably better f- in LA because LA is like horrible traffic, right? Like mm-hmm. it's like known for being shit. So it must be hard going from like audition to audition or just auditions in general. So, I mean, they have their like pros and cons. As someone who is new to the city, meeting casting is near impossible because yeah. it's mm. all self tapes. So they're just like going off picture and stuff like that. I have no relationships. I have to really right. build them. It takes a while. Yeah. But it's completely convenient. I was once fired from a job because I left halfway through to go do an audition, you know? Yeah. I was like, I'm not missing this audition, fuck this, and, like, yeah, left, 100%. and I got fired. What job fired you? <laughs> it wasn't anything exciting. I was just doing reception work when I was, uh, like, in my early for, 20s. For who? It was a doctor's <laughs> office. We're going to ring them up and say, what the fuck? <laughs> it's a local doctor's With office. Frank call. Yes, we know. It's Dr. Gupta. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the phone right now. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Frenchie's changed, guys. He's shaved off his mustache. Oh, don't talk He's about lost it. his mojo. He was funnier with the mustache. It. It. it was like when Austin Powers lost his mojo. It was all in the mustache. It. Like, well, who's the guy in the Bible it's that gets his back. hair cut off? Samson. 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 <laughs> it's coming back. Everyone. Um, in a year just, and a half, it's coming back. Everyone look at Frenchie's top lip. <laughs> you can't. I'm hiding it behind the microphone, so... <laughs> Bro, what the fuck, eh? Why are you so doxing funny. me, bro? <laughs> the listeners didn't even know that till you pointed out. I now point I feel out. now they can hear the difference. Now they can hear the difference. I yeah. swear. <laughs> I swear. Yeah, they can hear it. It's not as funny. <laughs> did the you? Mojo. Oh, so you admit I was funny? Thank you. One nil. Did you? <laughs> you did a video where you when a man shaves their mustache, or was it their beard? It was beard. Okay. okay yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was like, I feel that really. You yeah. know how people like look younger when they like men when they. Shave Shave their mustache mm-hmm. or beard. Mm-hmm. Frenchie just looks like a fish. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to go with older. Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't change the species of me. <laughs> Don't do a setup and then misdirect to just call me a fish. I was it's like, coming it. from an it's honest like, place. I see yeah. it, it's like sunny like, Philadelphia. Like a tadpole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see it. <laughs> it's like always sunny Philadelphia where they just call D a bird the whole time. Yeah. She does kind of look like a bird, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you a tadpole. Yeah. Tadpole, okay. A tadpole, yeah. They're just like sperm of the of the ocean. And he does look a bit like a sperm too. <laughs> <laughs> so back to what we were talking about. It's the no chin. <laughs> <laughs> She's flipped a roast on you and I like it. I know. Well, no chin and no moustache. I'm matching mm. up now, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Don't fucking start, up, start on me if you want to talk about chins. <laughs> Mind now your you're going to be self-conscious. Mind your line is now you're going to be self-conscious. Doesn't matter. I'm staying out of it. <laughs> Doesn't staying matter. Out of it. I don't want the smoke. Oh, we got, I'll talk about chins with you two. Oh, no. Mr. Asian voice. Don't even. Asian voice? <laughs> Batsu's last name. Batsu Chin, maybe. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. It was a good Good joke. Uh, moustache <laughs> Frenchie would have figured it out. Yeah, <laughs> moustache <laughs> Frenchie. Moustache Frenchie would have known oh. what to say. <laughs> so back, back to auditions, why do you prefer, what are the pros and cons of online versus Of self-tapes? Yeah. Well, usually they're a lot more open to seeing more people. Like they'll take a risk on people because they don't have to bring people in. Right, right, right. Also, they're completely convenient. Like if you get a self-tape, it's due tomorrow or whenever it's due. Mm-hmm. You can record it after work. You don't have to. Yeah, leave but work. isn't it hard to charm them? Because you're just like this I mean, that was what I was type. saying. Yeah, there's no like charming the room. Because I work, that. I work the room for sure. You work the room. I like <laughs> day. It starts, but as soon as they enter, there's flowers on the desk. They're like, where do they come from? I'm like, like, and then I, when I come oh, in wow. an hour later, I'm like, oh, see, so you got my flowers. That's awesome. Yeah. How you doing? What? And then it's like. 
boom, 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 boom. No so way. on a scale of one to ten, do you think they'd find that creepy that he like left flowers yeah, before? With a moustache, they do. But now I've got my new, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm, face. yeah, I've got my honest face, my honest fish face. <laughs> fish are honest. <laughs> Is there a way you can charm people casting? Not really, yeah, because everyone tries it. Because you I get mean, your slate where you like say stuff. Yeah, you, you can start do chucking a little stuff in the slate. In. I guess it's so. Like, how you guys going? No response. I guess it's more like it's about the acting now. It's like you got to uh, like, yeah. cream rises to the top. <laughs> Explains why I'm. But not is booking. it about? <laughs> but is it about the acting? Because I swear, whenever I watch things, I'm like, every second actor is just their parents are famous. Well, I mean. Yeah, the, the, I mean, it's not it all, it's not always about the acting. It's about the contact. I mean, it's a million things. It's luck. Mm. It's contacts. It's. But sometimes when their parents are famous, they just got genetics as well. Like they, their their oh, parents had something. I feel like sometimes they do just get like a talent passed down, and they've also been around it for their whole life, I, which I mean, is like a, an advantage. Exposure. Yeah. Like when I wanted to do this. I had to learn from freaking yeah. scratch there's how no to do to it. Ask, you yeah, know? there's Especially no one to ask, you know, especially in things. Australia, it's confusing. I remember handing in, like, rookie mistake. You know how, like, when you hand in an actor's resume, it has to be one page? Mm. My ass was like, I'm going to list every short film I ever Hell listed because yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. And I ha- ended I up handing Cole's, these five pages of Cole's resume. work experience. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah like that because I just did yeah, not yeah, know. Yeah, that time you're on the security camera. Yeah. Yeah. At the 7-Eleven. The time I did a random podcast, I would put that on yeah, my resume. Don't put this <laughs> on there. No, Because no, we're on to... Scrape it from the internet. Onto pedo wood. <laughs> so you won't get the role. Because Frenchie's on to it. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to bring it up that early and then I panicked. <laughs> his number one on his list. Yeah. What's, um, do you have any embarrassing audition stories? Mm, you know, not really me... But I actually, when I moved to LA, I wanted to find a way to like support myself that wasn't just acting and like mm-hmm. I created a business. Uh, so I owned self tape studios. Oh, yeah. So like the studios that help people film auditions. Yeah. And I've seen some people do oh, some very embarrassing auditions. <laughs> I'm glad I haven't used yours. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you would have seen some. <laughs> yeah. Do you have self tape confidentiality or can you tell us some, some things? I mean, I. You can just not say can, their name. Yeah. You know? Like just, getting boners and stuff during the performance. Oh, no, mm-hmm. no one's. Ever done that? I've never seen that. Um, it's just like there's a there's a mix. Some people come in there and they're so high strung. I remember this one woman specifically. She came in and she was filming something called Teenage Bounty Hunters, which is now on Netflix. It was a, a few years ago. Um, oh, never heard of that. It's yeah, kind it's, of a dope that concept. Cool. Yeah, it's just it's just like a sort of like you know a YA kind of like right. It, you know, because I'm thinking dog the bounty hunter, mm-hmm. but with hormonal teenagers, mm-hmm. and there's like love stories. They're like crush on the other bounty hunters, and they're going through puberty. Is this what it is? Oh, more or less. <laughs> yeah. That's dope. Yeah, and it's just But like, how do teenagers bring down grown-ass criminals? Yeah, that's the, the sus- Guns, it's the America. The oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> something like that. Skateboards. <laughs> but she was auditioning for the mother, and yep. the scene was her daughters were like an hour past curfew. Uh, because they were bounty hunting, which yeah. she didn't, she doesn't know. She she was not in the know. And oh, she no. comes in real method acting, which is kind of like where you make yourself upset mm. so you can be upset in the scene. It's kind of like they have that famous, uh, I think it was Daniel Day Lewis and Russell Crowe. Or yeah, I, every time I hear this thing, they change the name of the people, but. Daniel Day-Lewis stayed up for like four days because he was playing an insomniac. And then Russell Crowe was like, you know, it's easier if you act. Like, Oh. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, Daniel Day's method. Yeah, he's yeah, so this, Yeah, so that's the method. Was, so, it, was he the one who was Jesus too? No, that was... That was Jim uh, Caviezel. <laughs> that was Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. <laughs> Are we talking about the... <laughs> no, Mel Gibson directed it. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I never watched that movie. <laughs> anyway, that, maybe, you wa- I was like, maybe he was. I never watched. I want to know all the roles he method acted, but go on to this. So she's method acting. So she was method acting, like coming. She like walked into the room, like hyperventilating. I was like, "Oh, you all right?" And she was like, "Just start the scene." And I was like, "Okay." (laughs) That's so funny. (laughs) And she goes, "This goes into this whole scene about how these daughters are late, and she's like crying and bawling her eyes out, and so intense." And I was like. Wow, what is this for? She's like, teenage bounty hunters. I was yeah. like, I don't think that's yeah. the tone of the, yeah, of the show. Yeah, a bit more melodrama, just, maybe. I was like reading the brief. She was like, YA dramedy. Like, I was like, I just don't. She's like, I'll think. fucking kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's heaps funny. Yeah. There's a few like that. But that's why you get the the self tape auditions uh, help is because then you can be like, hey, I just think the tone great. Now try it with this. Oh, exactly. definitely. Emotion. People get, having off. someone there. Mm -hmm. Most people just probably film it themselves. It is better. Or their if partners. You got like a big, which is yeah. How do you break if you got up? a big audition? It's worth going to someone like big you term. who's got acting experience yeah, you've done for it sure. A couple of times, I think. I've done it for a few auditions where I'm like, I don't want to fuck it up. So, mm -hmm. like, one one time fucking pissed me off, though, because they filmed it and they, like, fucked it. Like, yeah. they fucked up the filming. Mm -hmm. Like, it was, like, really bad quality or, like, the audio didn't work or something. And I'm like, I've got cameras, man. Yeah. Like, I could have filmed this myself. I, I did this it's audition. It's the reader and the coaching, though. Yeah, that was the best bit. Mm -hmm. I did this audition for, I think it was for Sydney Water. For a lad character, it's like for a commercial. An ad. Okay, and I'm a lad character. Swear, that's sick. Is that out of his for government. Comfort? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, it was like it was like a backyard cricket game, and Gilly turns on the water or something, and the lads <laughs> in first slip. It was ridiculous. Gilly, your little fish face. <laughs> Gilly as well. <laughs> Gilly, Gilly is a cricketer called Adam Gilchrist. This is not me being doing a nickname. Fish boy. <laughs> Fuck, I hate it when they team up on me. <laughs> Bullshit. I thought you were pie today, Demi. Fuck you. Oh, I was missing pies in LA. Oh, yeah. oh, it was so good. It was from Bunnings Warehouse. The pie was? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. When did they sell those? We went to Bunnings after the shoot. In yeah. the cafe section, not yeah. like the with the nails or something. It's got its own pie section. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, that, with the snags. Uh, uh, aisle 15, I think the pies were, yeah. Yeah, nice. Tomato sauce, aisle 19, though, so it seems like a oh, waste. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of it's a big opportunity. Walk. So you're playing then a lad in a city yeah, water? Yeah, so I was like, okay, I think that's, depending who else they've got, if they've got traditional mm. actors, I think I can, I can probably jag this one. And I'm chatting because the dude on there kind of liked me. I think that's why I got the audition. I'm chatting with Zoom before I do it because we're waiting on people. I'm like, who else is going for the lad? He's like, oh, do you know Shaq? Shaq TV. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, I'm never going to get <laughs> this. Never, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shaq's this is lad is so funny. Yeah, and I'm pretty he's sure he, a lot of practice I'm pretty well. sure he got it. I'm pretty sure he got it. It is so funny, that character. That's I crack up. funny. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so uh, anyway, back to Hollywood. Other misconception, conception. Conception. Famous people are everywhere. Do you see him every day? Who's who have you seen? The most famous person you met, seen? Uh, you know what? I don't really. I'm not good with faces and stuff. So mm. like sometimes mm. famous people, famous people definitely come into my studio where like. They're famous enough. I recognize them, and my ass like never recognizes anyone. Yeah, right. But um, then usually, if just out and about, I don't really see them. I see them at events. Won't you be like at a Walmart or whatever, and Mark Wahlberg will be there pushing a trolley or something? Or I not? mean, maybe I probably wouldn't notice, but like I, two that's years definitely you've happened. Seen no one. I mean, people have come into my studio. That's it. Who? That I've noticed. I don't know that I should say names. Don't say. Don't like, say. <laughs> don't say. Like, maybe they don't want, like, maybe they... We'll say for well, you. Don't, don't, don't say. Don't, no, 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 we'll don't guess. say. Don't say. We'll <laughs> guess. We'll guess. We'll guess. Give us a tier of celebrity. They're yeah. pretty, pretty famous. A, B. Mm. What is A? Is A, like, Oscar winners? A is A-list. I mean, I would consider these people A-list. Benji they Madden. <laughs> okay. yeah. Joel Madden uh, A little higher A little higher, babe. Sophie Monk <laughs> Are you just going people who host Australian TV shows? Andrew G Usher Gunsberg Andrew G <laughs> His dead name oh, God. Dead name J.K. Rowling uh, That's all I was going to guess I wanted to guess so I could guess stupid ones I'm going to guess Jacob Elordi Oh, no, I, I, was Good like, guess. Uh, I was like, he's like new to it. I don't know. Well, that's what I was saying. Maybe these people don't want mm, their yeah. names because some people are like offer only. And maybe they don't. Yeah, I don't want. True, I don't want to reveal that they're not a offer yeah, only. Some people actors. get offended when they've got a like, Tape, audition. Tape, an audition. Yeah. yeah. So maybe true, just true, like true. That. For I like, is there stuff you wouldn't want to do for a role? Like, you know how he had to drink the cum bath water? No, I'm thinking because I think Jake at all Lord. I don't think he one. actually had cum in it. It's just bath water. I oh, did it not. <laughs> No, I don't think but so. But what if he's method? Oh, maybe it oh, did yeah. then. I, I know he's not method, though, because remember when he played Elvis and then also Austin Butler played Elvis and Austin Butler went heaps method. Yeah. And right. he was like, oh, I didn't know what Elvis was until I started doing this role. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I heard about Elvis from Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> like, That's really? so funny. He was good at it, though. He did a good job. Yeah. That was a yeah. weird movie, though. Yeah. Well, did Austin Butler go method for the latest one? Was it a Dune? 
Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> she says June weird. Dune. Dune. He says June. June. He says June. It's June. <laughs> What do I say now? <laughs> oh, I'm never going to know what I say now. Yeah. You'll have to wait a while and then ask me. We'll surprise you in a sec. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not now. I mean, don't, okay. don't. <laughs> All right, speaking of that, are you going to segue into your story? Is that what you're going for? Rebel Wilson. Yeah, it seemed like oh, a segue. Perfect segue. Yeah, almost. Have you heard oh, about Rebel Wilson? Rebel Wilson? <laughs> uh, no. Well... She's got an upcoming memoir and she's called someone an arsehole in it. An A-lister who, I'll give you one clue who it is. Venus. Oh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Wow. I'm not surprised though. She didn't say who it was and then she came out and said it like today. Yeah, she dropped it in an Instagram story saying he was an arsehole. She'll She'll be making claims about him in her upcoming memoir, Rebel Rising. Um, let's go to why you're not surprised and we'll go into what, what allegedly happened. Well, anyone, you know, like the kind of roles he plays, he gets really into it. Mm. He stays in that character. Like I can see him being an asshole when he's like staying in character and just being a fucking giant pain in the ass. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. If he's method acting as Bruno or whatever he was in for that film, Mm -hmm. is that really him? No. I feel like as well, like he doesn't have boundaries for himself so he probably doesn't respect other people's because he's like he'll do anything Mm -hmm. like it's not like he's he's talking the talk when it comes to like crazy shit it's like when we when we film with Raka is like they don't think anything of just throwing a bunch of fucking blood on your your new clothes and just oh yeah like you should need to fall off onto thumbtacks because that's what they would do like Mm -hmm. that's what the scene it's what the scene needs do it yeah but um, so she goes on to say, I will not be bullied or silenced by high price lawyers or PR crisis managers. She began in her candid IG story. Dang. Except she says it like her. So the asshole I was talking about in one chapter of my book is Sasha Baron Cohen. And then we flash back. <laughs> 2016 interview. With Marie Claire. Marie Claire. <laughs> Her too. Mara. Her too. <laughs> <laughs> the Daily. <laughs> Rebel Wilson told the reporter um, that she, ba- Sasha Baron Cohen wanted her to perform a nude scene in the Brothers Grimsby. However, she declined. What is the Brothers Grimsby? I've never even it's heard like of that. He plays a football hooligan. hooligan. It was pretty funny. I like it, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And also... I don't know how she big she was at the time. She was she was Rebel big, Wilson. She was before weight loss. Big right. person, getting naked, funny. That's like he did everyone in that, knows that that scene in Borat with old mate where they wrestle and they've got each other's assholes in their faces. Remember that famous yeah, scene? Hilarious with the scene. Guy? And yeah. even I can say that because someone with my lanky sort of he's done that. <laughs> no, I'm saying my weird body getting naked, funny. Yeah, Spike from Notting Hill. Sure. He's funny because he's in his underwear. That's uh-huh. why it's funny. He's got that weird little body. It wouldn't be funny if he had his abs on. No one's laughing. Yeah. But you Spike got abs, Lordy. Don't you? Oh, well, yeah, I do, but that's different. <laughs> okay, she, and she says, you know what? The people behind the camera have a certain sensibility and decency. And a lot of times in comedy, they're not those people. Oh. Flashback, 2014. <laughs> this is getting confusing. I am lost. <laughs> on an appearance in the Carl and Jackie O show. What are you, what are you reading flashback? What is that? <laughs> um, it doesn't I'm say adding, it anywhere there. I'm adding some drama <laughs> in. Oh, okay. I think we're reading something. <laughs> he is, but I'm adding, adding some flashbacks. drama in. <laughs> it's really confusing. Well, I'm saying she spoke about the same incident during an appearance of the Carl and Jackie O show. Oh, I see. Yeah, adding that she had threatened to call their shared agent about his harassment of her. Every day, Sasha Baron Cohen is like, just go naked. It will be funny. Remember in Borat when I did that naked scene? It was hilarious, Wilson said on the show. On the last day, I thought I'd obviously won the argument and he got a body double to do the naked scene. And then Wilson also claims that Cohen asked her to stick her finger up his butt during the final scene of the film, despite it not being in the script. I'll just pull my pants down and you stick your finger up my butt. It would be a really funny bit. Wilson claimed he said at the time. Okay. <laughs> you guys go first. About what? <laughs> Thoughts. Are we flashbacking or are we in the present? <laughs> I'm confused. Flashback. Flash forward to present. Um, okay. 
Flash forward, uh, <laughs> that's not okay. <laughs> yeah. Can't randomly accost someone. No, that's not accosting. He's saying, yo. We should. Little tag um, for this scene. Pop a little finger in there. It's going to be funny. I don't know the scene. Yeah, so I don't know that that's okay. But yeah, especially he's the lead. He's got power on her. Like, you Yeah. Know. It's like because he said he's, she said he's asked like multiple times. It's like. She must have she said, said no. no. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, okay, yeah, but this you've is got a, your body. The, the I know that. The I know that. Thing. I know that. I heard you. <laughs> Flashback. So, so that's one scene. He's pressuring her to get naked and she's like, I don't want to do it. They've got the same age and she's having a complaint to him. It's like he's not respecting those boundaries. And mm-hmm. then if she's not going to get naked, why would she want to stick a finger up your ass for an improv scene, bro? <laughs> like, sure, it'd be funny, but you can probably do that with some kind of stunt situation. Get a stunt finger. And if it's funny, it should be... Probably in the script. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Plus, these things have to get checked. Yeah. Don't they have to get checked with studios? Don't they have to get checked with like agents? Int- intimacy coordinators yeah. and shit these days. Like, it was only eight years ago. I mean, get, film. get a stunt. Things thing. probably I mean, were and worse. The Me Too probably wasn't around yeah. back then. Yeah. A lot of things changed since then. Mm. I will say, if he did it cold and he thought about it, that's a bit, like, weird. But if he's, like, in the middle of a riff, he's like, oh, what if we could do this too? Like, stick a finger in my butt. Ah. Because we've all gone on riffs on stage where we're like, oh, I didn't, shouldn't have done that, said that last bit. I think yeah, it's Yeah, but different. did you ask yeah, them you to stick a... you were directing a film. Yeah, did you ask them to stick a finger in their butt? <laughs> yeah, if you do that to it crowd audiences like... in a riff but present your asshole. It does and... sound like it was... And when they said no, did you continue to ask them over <laughs> and over again? <laughs> that one time in Coffs Harbour. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, um, so this, it's like, who could we ask about this? You guys film a lot together. Mm-hmm. Yes. You've got the control. Is there anything Frenchie's ever said? <laughs> like a scene where you're like, that's too far. We this is a like... witch hunt. This is a witch that's hunt. Nice you put the you story think Frenchie in. has the control when we film. That's <laughs> fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Does <laughs> he sometimes pitch things and you're like, we're not yeah, doing no, that. Yeah, no, I have a veto power. Dad? I'm just like veto. <laughs> yeah. And he can't ask questions, but just like veto. <laughs> That's Daddy funny. Demi's the boss. But, yeah, that is a good question, Tom. I always send her the scripts and yeah. say, check them. We'll do the ones you like. Well, she's – and because um, we've had to hide a few back in the day because we filmed them and then they're like, oh, I don't think they Things should be change. on the internet anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why we're like – because we don't want to have to film one and then get rid of her later too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's definitely better to have Yeah, but she checks all the scripts and – yeah. Yeah, right. I mean how we work together, it, it's incredibly collaborative and yeah. Frenchie mm. is such a respectful person yeah. to work with. Like uh, oh. <laughs> even <laughs> mustache Frenchie. Even mustache Frenchie, very <laughs> respectful. We like r- r- put them in a Google Doc, we edit each other's stuff. Yeah. No one has any ego about it. I pitch things, he pitches yeah. things. Then we film them, uh, Frenchie does the editing, I supply the locations. <laughs> like It's very, like, yeah, you know, cool. down the middle. And then like most shoots he does once you're filming, he'll say Stick so a finger I... in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> and then at the end of the filming, we consensually stick each other's yeah. fingers in our butts. <laughs> Can you get naked in this scene? <laughs> There's been not one filming sketch we've done where neither of us have. Oh, I at least I haven't needed to get naked. Have you needed to get naked? I get naked, naked all the time. Yeah. The one where I got in the mankini. Actually, very boring. That's bar-out. true. That's true. That very was a mankini. Bar-out. That was a naked, though. <laughs> For, oh, I felt, it was worse than naked because it got all squished up, so it looked like I didn't have much down there. I'd, and as it goes up the crack, I don't like it up the crack. Mm. But it pulls it hard because it was a small mankini. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah it's like, oh. what was that in? Uh, didn't that. get released. <laughs> <laughs> suspicious, no, suspicious. It was like called "Don't Look There" or what? Yeah, I don't know why we changed try it. Try not to look. Try not to look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was. Mm. It was like um, <laughs> we don't go through the plot. <laughs> it won't sound as clever well, as it funny. is. Just go watch it. <laughs> yeah. but that's that's a interesting story. No, that is because like I f- yeah, I feel like he shouldn't have done it. I get why he did because he's that type of like pushes the boundaries. But at a certain point, you got to be like. But yeah. this is a female, there's a position of power. Exactly. But. And as an actor and anyone on a project, you don't want to let someone down, but also there's some things you don't want to do. And that's why you tell them before, you're like, oh, fuck, that's in the script. Yeah. And there's also, like, with all these type of stories, there could be, like, context we're missing. Like, he could have sure. said it, like you mm. said, as, like, like a passing comment. Like, it'd be funny He might have done it in the Borat voice. If he did in the Borat mm. voice, stick a finger in my butt. You said Borat weird, Yeah, Borat? you did say Borat weird. <laughs> Borat. Mera? Borat. Borat. Oh, what's that new movie that's got Timothy Chameleon in it, Tom? <laughs> June. 
Yeah. I think I do say it like Dune. him. Yes. <laughs> Maybe it's Aussie. Maybe yeah. I'm saying Dune because they said in America like that. Yeah, they pronounce Dune. their Ds. Yo, Dune. Let's Dune. go see Dune. Uh, let's go down do, to the let's sand do a Dune. flashback sand real Dune. quick. Okay, flashback. What yes. did you call Timothy? Timothy what? Timothy Chamolet. <laughs> yeah, something's wrong there. No, that's Chamolet. It's French. Oh, you think it's Chamolet? Wrong. Mm. <laughs> Chamol. I don't even know. Okay, what how it is. do you say it? Timothy Chalamet. 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 Yeah, no. He's not a salad. Chalamet. Like, how do you, how do you say shallot? chemist? A shallot, I am. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, anyway, moving on. Yeah, that's, that's an moving interesting on. one. It'll be interesting to see where that goes, that story. Well, to be fair, it was eight years ago, mm. and I think the collective subconscious is much more aware oh, of these kinds of things. Lot. We've yeah, had big shifts these the last few years. The intimacy coordinators are good. Yeah, intimacy yeah. coordinators, yeah. even just like the zygos and like consequences, speaking of like Harvey Weinstein, for your actions, yeah. you know? And like... It doesn't sound like he was doing it for like a sexual weird thing. It was more for the comedy, but he still should have. I mean, known still, better, but, you know, yeah. so, but like, but that would have been worse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the good part about intimacy, intimacy. Oh, yeah. That's not a word I use much. <laughs> <laughs> we all know. <laughs> it's not just the the consent thing to make sure no one feels weird about it, but also the other thing that I don't think gets focused on is that like they coordinate better scenes, like love scenes, like a fight scene. You need a fight scene coordinator. Otherwise, it's just some basic shit. But now they can do crazy positions or Ooh. you can do like, yeah, in space. now we need to be intense there and like pull it back, little hand stroke on the knee there. Oh, No one does the knee stroke. And then but if you know it's not I mean? improvised, the camera people are on board so they can get the shots that are like And they nice. can hop in. Yeah. Which is nice. <laughs> yeah. Then it's an orgy. Yeah. A Hollywood orgy. Yeah. <laughs> Stick a finger in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, real quick, Tom. Uh, how's the Kate Middleton situation? Oh, yeah, that got sad quick, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Should we change the title of last week's episode? No. You remember what it's called? Is she dead or is something? Is Kate Middleton dead? Well, the answer's no. Yeah. <laughs> it still holds up. The answer's on her way, but not I did, yet. Oh, my goodness. I, d- I did archive my uh, Photoshop of me as Kate Middleton <laughs> with the kids. I did archive that. I thought, what? yeah, what? out of respect. Yeah. That is the greatest comeback in history. What a way to silence mm. every press ever. To be honest, we should have seen that. I, I guessed it was cancer. Every time someone said anything to me, I was like, girl is cancer, it's for pretty, sure. pretty common. Oh, I think we, yeah. we did yeah. everything but cancer. I think we had one where yeah. she was Pinocchio and her father was Geppetto and she was a wooden boy for a bit. I was pretty sold on the wooden boy theory. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's so sad. That, you know, but they have three yeah. small children. Oh, that's why yeah. I was like, they're keeping it out of the press. Can you imagine yeah. seeing that in the press? Terrible, terrible. But... Um, we shout out Kay Middleton. Hope you're getting better. Yeah, uh, we wish you she's well. She's a listener. On the, on the Friday, we filmed a skit and mm-hmm. it was like will you, Evan played William and he just obviously killed her. And we had brought in the f- <laughs> Royal Fixers uh, and the Royal Fixer had brought like just women who look like her and yeah. to pass her off her as her. I reckon release it on Patreon. No. <laughs> On Patreon. Yeah, That's not final. a bad idea, It would have been fine on Patreon. <laughs> and it was literally like, I would say, six hours later that news broke. Yeah. I woke up and I saw it. I'm like, oh. Yeah, That's I text French. I was like, so we release it? Damn. <laughs> Maybe you could just dub it. Just dub it. I scenes. said that. Alive. That'd be really funny. <laughs> you alive to her. You alive oh. to her. Yeah. <laughs> we oh. regret to. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but very funny situation. Yeah, awkward. 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 So the moustache, Frenchie. Mm. Oh, we're still on that. <laughs> Still Is it for that. the wedding? Yeah, she wants, she said, I don't even know. She's like, you have She's to get rid of the moustache mus- or the mullet. I'm yeah. like, why do I have to get rid of either? They go together. Does she know who she's marrying? Yeah, exactly. Literally. Thank you. I think Thank I th- you. I'm not on board with it. I think it. she's being generous as fuck letting him keep that mullet. I think you shouldn't <laughs> marry someone if you need to change them before the wedding. I agree. I, don't, yeah, I do agree. I do agree. I do agree. <laughs> Thank you. But oh. asking you to shave isn't like... The end of the world. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I don't think it looks good. I don't like it. I'll draw one on on the day with some permanent marker. Yeah. Yeah. But that's like me saying, yo, can you cut off your left hand? That's not the same. Left or right, <laughs> pick one. You should You should be able to critique maybe her eyebrows. <laughs> oh, don't talk about a woman's eyebrow, bro. Don't talk about a man's mustache. Thank you. I yeah. agree. Okay. So maybe she could, you could get her to do like the really thin eyebrows that were big in the, the maybe 90s. The, yeah. 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 the posh spice ones. Yeah, the um, Pamela Anderson's. No yeah. one. A couple slits. of Pamela Anderson. 
excuse me? <laughs> I said I want slits. What's that? The, you know, the slits in the Oh, thing. I see, I see. Slits I in see. the eyebrows. But he also wants that kind of slit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He wants Pamela Anderson slits. Oh, yeah. Oh, not now. <laughs> That'd be cool. Not now. She'd probably look badass with a bit of an eyebrow slit. I think though. so. Yeah. She's a bad it's bitch. That's kind of cool. Yeah, That's kind of that cool. Would be, that would be fun. <laughs> I'd do Pamela Anderson now. Really? Not now? I would. Oh, now she she's have all a no lot. makeup, hey? Have I think she's a hottie. Yeah. She looks pretty good. No, yeah, you'd have so. to... They, they, her eyebrows are too thin. You'd I'm, have to I'm fuck her in a... They are thin. They're too thin. You would have to fuck her in a pool of antibiotics. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> that's very rude. true. It's very true. Why? Because she's got lots of diseases that are sexually based. How do you know that? <laughs> I've seen it in a, on a boat. She was with this guy called Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee. He, yeah. He, he yeah. He looked... And he raw dogged her on a boat. He looks like someone you need to fuck in a pool of antiseptic. Yeah. 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 Well, he gave he it to her. Hog. He gave it to he her. He had a hog. He has man. a hog, bro. It's yeah. only getting longer. That dad dick. <laughs> the gravity, bro. The gravity. I thought it would happen to the balls. The balls oh, got both. longer. Everything. Oh, yeah. The skin, the everything. And the okay. Which yeah. is great for us. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so married, two weeks wedding. Yes. yes. Excited. What First a, week and a half. Yeah. Very excited. Fuck, Very That's excited. Wild. Yeah. Can't Are you gonna, wait. Have you been working on a dance or anything? I did think about that. I worry that she like because I think you're supposed to do a joint dance. Yeah, like your first dance. First dance. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> You want to do your own dance. <laughs> well, I don't You're think in a partnership now, bro. To, to you can't be selfish. The bride. That's what I'm saying. I don't think we can do a dance because she wouldn't be able to keep up with me. If I like bust in a soldier boy and she was like, I think oh, she could learn it. that hell. That's nah. a pretty easy one. Usually right. the couples learn like a dance together. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. I was hoping yeah. you guys had been working on something for months. No. Like a flash mob, maybe. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I never oh, got the call up. The flash <laughs> yeah. mob. Everyone but Tom. I believe it. Everyone's doing it but you, Tom. Uh, <laughs> like The Office. Am I the guy watching? Yeah. That's kind of cool. The flash for you. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I like yeah. that. The, the, it's like a the beautiful office. night. Looking, looking for, for something, something dumb to do. Yeah, I don't even know the words. Cute. <laughs> hey, baby. Think I want to marry you. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Wow. I've been taking singing lessons. I'm going to sing her a song. Mm, I can't wait for your That's going to be magical. For your it's yeah. it's uh, acoustic chewy. I did just convince Frenchie today that he shouldn't improvise his vowels. Oh, no. Oh, oh, you think this is I gonna can't be... pull it off, bro? <laughs> Guys, this is going to be a fucking disaster. You think I can't pull it off? Oh, 100%. You can't even say certain words. <laughs> oh, when, why would I Timothy say Shemelay. intimacy? <laughs> Maybe Timothy mustache Chamelet. Frenchie could have put bring off. up Timothy Chamelet <laughs> in a fucking vow? Now it's in your head. You're going to. My yeah. love for you smolders like Timothy Chamelet's face in June. That's pretty good. June. <laughs> Do oh, no. In June. <laughs> Can't wait. In the month or the movie? <laughs> <laughs> love oh. is like a flashback. Rebel Wilson's on Carl and Jackie O show talking about Sasha Baron Cohen. Very nice. <laughs> Yo, I should do a Borat theme. Oh, yes. Yeah. My wife. My it wife. should mainly be that. <laughs> when I'm with you, you make me feel very nice. <laughs> Maybe go back to improvising. The running of the Jew. <laughs> She's semi Jewish, too, so that's perfect. That's I good. can talk about the running of the Jew. Oh, yeah. yeah. The running of the Jew. It's all good. Mm. Um, <laughs> I'm moving on. What do we want to talk about? Um, I got a bunch of shit here. I got some questions. Um, oh. We're going to settle some debates for some listeners. I asked them to send through on uh, Instagram some things that they're disagreeing with their partners or friends on. Oh, nice. And I thought we could settle it. Yeah. Um, this is a good one. This is actually from Oliver, and he's from Denmark. Oh, which hey, is cool. Oliver. Yeah. He says, hey, guys, I missed the things you disagree with your partner story, so he sent me in a message. Okay, so I, male 26, have a two-in-one dispute with my girlfriend, 24. We have been together for five years now, but only Whoa. moved in together this year. She got this fancy and expensive leg razor as a gift, which came with a wall mount. We all know the ones, right? Stick it on the wall in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. She therefore insists that it has to hang up in the shower, even though she only uses it once or twice a month. Good for her. What's a leg razor? Like a razor for your legs. Just like a normal razor. Oh, good. But why are you wall mounting it? I'm like, it's got a wall mount, so it doesn't get rusty. So you keep it in the shower for when you shave your legs when you're a woman. Yeah, so you just hang it up. Where have you been? Oh no, go on. I've got it now. I've got it now. (laughs) Even though she only uses it twice a month, 
Um, no, I was thinking Razor, like R A I S E R, and I thought it was like a gym thing. That's why I was so confused. Wow. Razor. <laughs> I believe she could easily just bring it in to the shower when she wants to use it. It is annoying to me as I bump into it all the time, resulting in it falling onto the floor and smashing into pieces. And then I have to pick it up and put it back together. I've had that happen before yeah, with Tonya's yeah, razor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now, as she has won the first part of this dispute, at this moment in time, I have then started using her razor to shave my balls and shaft every now and again. It's very good for this purpose as the head of the razor has a nice glide head yep. or whatever, which yep. means no need for soap or shaving cream. Yeah. <laughs> she obviously d d don't fancy me doing this, mm -hmm. which I find ridiculous as I even shower before I use it. So why care? So he's saying sh he's clean yep. when he's using it. So it's not like he's going in dirty and yeah, using yeah, yeah. it. Understood. Okay. And she's also using it for downstairs. He says, so yeah. Please help settle this one. Okay. Oh, you go first, Demi. I've got, I've got thoughts. Um, it sounds like this guy's being a little bit of a fucking pussy. <laughs> like, <laughs> Why? Like, He's just using a razor. It's her Ca razor. Can't you share? I thought they were in a relationship. If she says, if she says no, then no. If someone's willing to share toothbrushes, sick. But if someone's like, no, don't use my toothbrush. Yeah. Don't use my toothbrush. But it's just a razor, and their hair is connecting down there anyway. I don't care what it is. Have some respect anyway. for her boundaries. <laughs> But his boundary was the shower and she put a whole box of razors in there. She put a razor on the shower. <laughs> How big is the thing? Like, why does he keep bumping into it? Is he dancing in the shower? You so it's just a razor with it. But, like, why does he keep bumping like into this it? Big and you just That's what out. I'm saying. What's he doing in the shower? I'm thinking it must be a small shower to bump into it all the time. Yeah. Mm. Which could be annoying. I mean... The first, like that second part, he has none of my support. <laughs> like him using, using it, it for yeah. That first part, I think they could come to a compromise. Yeah, I, th I don't think you should have told her you were using it. Because mm. so she like, probably found these really long what? hairs in it for sure. She's yeah, like, but you use it and then mentally, like, okay, pluck um, them out, I'll clean up, one nil, and then just never tell her because she hasn't said you can't use it. Now she has. So you're in trouble. I sure, think first time maybe he gets away. Here's the compromise you know. that I'm thinking. They, she buys him one that yeah. he can stick next to it. And then she'll bump that off once in a while. Annoying. She'll have to put it back together. Mm. A bit more even. But also now he can shave his he balls. buy his own fucking razor. A little, a little his True. and hers. No, no. I like, like Tom's mm. idea, yes. Mm. <laughs> she has to buy him one. Oh, yeah, she all right. can buy him a razor. Fair enough. I think she got uh, given she can as well. spend, She can spend the fucking $3 uh, and buy him a razor. It's not fun when everyone's ganging up on you, is it? Oh, <laughs> great idea, Tommy. <laughs> Same page, boys. <laughs> so when you shaved your moustache, oh, did you use a no, razor? Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> did, you use, did you use, you use a, a fanny razor? razor? <laughs> no, yeah. Did it have a smooth glide head? Like that? <laughs> or did you use soap? <laughs> My moustache smells weird. <laughs> okay, we got quite a few more. That was like our mm. main one. So we didn't really decide. Um, yeah, you're going to have to figure that out. <laughs> we didn't help at all. Uh -huh. Okay. I think if that's the issue he has in his relationship, they're he's doing been, okay. Yeah, he's been kind of petty. Yeah, like, it's yeah, not it's a real. Right. It's not a real it's issue. Fine. I have knocked those razors off, and you do have to put them back together. It's kind of annoying. Tom, I mean, Tom he could just, it. if it's but then I'll just put it. it back together and Tom put it back. Tom it. To be honest, yes, it Tom's doesn't happen issue. every time. But if he's having issues, that just take it off when he goes into the shower. Uh, yeah. Go, have his shower. Just Maybe put it back. he gets a takes... second holder that he can. <laughs> Put it takes like half a second. Yeah, it does. <laughs> God, how much does he not love his girlfriend? It takes that half a second. They add up. It's the tiny cuts. Yeah, it's the tiny cuts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you're jumping into the ocean, are you clean or do you need to have a shower afterwards? Well, they put a lot of shit in the ocean, so. Actual shit. Like actual, like the mm. sewer pipes go into them, so. Nah, it's a big ocean. It diffuses by then. You just get salty. That's all it is. And if mm. you don't mind salt on your body, you're good. You're golden, baby. Mm. I mean, how long are we not showering? Like straight away? I guess like the straight ocean, after. The ocean, yeah. the ocean is a shower. Day. Yeah. I'll leave it on Depends for like... Depends what you got on, I guess. Yeah. The ocean is a shower. 
And everyone loves surf, dude. If you're going out clubbing or something, bro, yeah. have a fucking shower, man. Yeah. Well, you're going to be salty as fuck. If Chicks I'm going to eat at salt, a cafe bro. on the beach, I'll just chill yeah. in the beach water. But What whatever. do you mean? Every single meal gets salt added to it. And dude, if you're going out the nightclub. So lucky. <laughs> and if you're going to a All nightclub, insane, then women sure. will start <laughs> licking you to taste that little beach salt. They're like, oh, yeah, let me get some of that for my margarita. <laughs> mm, rub it on the rim. Rub it on you. Yeah, on come on. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> um, where is my list gone? Where is where, where is, is my, my list? Where okay. is my list? Cordial first or water? Oh, you know what? I always put the cordial first because so I want to see how much. Because I know mm-hmm. when I'm doing it, how much mm-hmm. like how sweet I want it. Yeah, I, I agree. Water. And also the act of putting the water in mixes it. Yeah, like, true, true. Someone pe- people put cordial in second. Yeah. It's like those people that put cereal first and then milk. Yeah. That's weird. What? Well, cereal oh, does no, go no, first. No, I'm wrong. Oh. Sorry, milk and yeah, then yeah. cereal. <laughs> That's weird. Whoa. French had to ask me whether you put milk in first when making an instant coffee. Yeah, that's a, that was a good question. Well, that's another one, like tea. Do you put the milk in first or the tea mm, in first? I don't put the tea put in. Put water in first. I put the water, water in water first, first, yeah. We have a the... tea bag. Mm. Tea yeah. bag, then water. Yeah. 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 But then it, with instant coffee, is it milk first or coffee first? Coffee first. It's coffee first, yeah. Yeah. Same I never made tea. one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I never needed my coffee that quickly. Um, <laughs> Need it instantly. <laughs> okay. It's bacon and eggs, not eggs and bacon. Bacon I, and eggs. I, yeah, I agree. I agree, yeah. Do people say eggs and bacon? Do you, What do you say, Frenchie? Bacon and eggs, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bacon and okay. eggs. B and E. It's a B and E roll. Yeah. yeah. Not an E and B. E and That's B. Insanity. That's a games. That's yeah. where you buy your video games. It's E B games. This one sounds loaded, okay? When you open a bag of chips, does it go in the fridge or pantry? The pantry. Yeah, right. The fridge? fridge? Why does they it put in the that fridge? first? Do you put chips in the fridge? No, but that's a good idea. Keep it fresh. Would it? Or would it just get cold? <laughs> It'd just be cold, cold chips. and fresh. I mean, if you got some kind of insect problem. I mean, how it hot? It depends, I guess, maybe if you're like in uh, Sahara Desert. I doubt it. He's probably would in it Australia. Get kind of, <laughs> <laughs> would it get kind of moist in the bag if you put it in I the fridge? I think it would. I think it would, yeah. Like a weird foil People moisteness. Are mental. Yeah. And, but that's so funny <laughs> because they do that their whole life and then they finally meet someone who does it and they're like, you're so weird putting your chips in the cupboard. I think a good one is like tomato sauce. Cupboard. Oh, uh, no, after you open fridge. After you open fridge. I do both. I swap. Mm. What yeah. do you mean you swap? Just sometimes I put it in the cupboard, sometimes I put it in the fridge. <laughs> well, that's mental. That's insane. That's yeah. more insane you've than having a <laughs> strong You've got a split stance. personality. That's how you get Maybe. diagnosed. Maybe. With a split personality. I, th- I think with those, it says put it in the fridge once yeah. opened. So before what about it's opened. Eggs? Oh, well, Are you now keeping I your eggs in the it. fridge Ooh, or I, on the counter? I am keeping them in the fridge. I am too. Because it's got the egg thing in our fridge, mm-hmm. like the egg holder. Yeah, well, I just do it for safety because otherwise you, you don't know where they're going to be. You sit on them. They might hatch. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what if they hatch in the fridge? I don't think they can. I think they need warmth. Mm. Uh, they hatch in the penguins maybe. 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 Mm. Okay. My me- My milkshake mm. brings My milkshake. all the boys to the yard. Uh, like, I'm trying to see if there's any good ones. I don't know. So when you do your podcast, you edit all the like the awkward pauses out. Oh no, Absolutely we keep them. No, the people <laughs> love it. The people love it. Absolutely, the people love it. So you really got to be on. We, we got to be share, better. At they this. share our yeah. podcast, and then I tell their friends, "Oh, yo, forty-three yo. minute great awkward pause." Yeah, yeah. yeah, we love it. Dead air. Nice. De- dead air. Yeah. Dead you, air. You, you go onto the YouTube for this. People just timestamping all the awkward pauses. <laughs> Nothing else they care they about. They are now. They are now. <laughs> I found this interesting. This is an article I found. I'll get my um, laptop up. <laughs> you know, do you guys when you eat pineapple, like does it hurt your mouth sometimes? Yeah, it's got those enzymes that are like flesh eating. What? Yeah. What? No, it's just a little acidity and it gets in your little gap somehow. No, 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 nope. <laughs> nope. Flesh eating enzymes. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> so like a piranha. Like a piranha. Okay, it's cause we are getting stabbed by one thousand thousands Have you... of rap hides. These crystals of calcium oxalate poke holes in your cell membranes, causing irritation. So there's like thousands of little spikes. But how does that make your cum taste better? That's a different thing. Oh, that's a different I don't thing. Know. <laughs> have you tried that as like a test? Yeah, the I cum have taste? actually, and it does work. But um, at like as a woman, <laughs> uh, uh, 
you can taste what it, like I know if I'm fucking dating a what smoker. What eaten? No, oh, exactly. Smoking. Yeah, I thought cum oh, tasted yeah. the same. Nah, so you like smoked cum? You can, t- you can yeah, tell like smoked, might if be someone's like been eating something. like shit, if someone eats, drinks a lot of protein shakes. If oh, someone, wow. Like, yeah, if someone's a smoker, yeah. it, like you can you could tell. <laughs> wow. So what's the good ones then? What what, what helps it? <laughs> I mean, don't smoke. Like pineapple. Pineapple's but good. Yeah, like, be, like the healthier you are, the, you know. Acai bowls. Is that why people like get into them? It's not that better. It tastes like the less, less bad less. it tastes. Yeah. 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 It just tastes not, like nothing. You're not yeah. drinking it for the flavor. Yeah. No, well, we, but we've like how much uh, superfoods, they're going to invent a superfood that... Makes it it had, pop. Don't they like inject uh, salmon sperm into your face for like a beauty treatment and stuff like that? I haven't heard of that. I've heard of like uh, what us specifically? No, not you specifically. You <laughs> clearly haven't had beauty treatments <laughs> like that. Oh, <laughs> Though maybe he's got yeah. that fish face. Oh, might be worth- <laughs> 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 he put the salmon face on his face. He misread it. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, guys. You're not crazy. Don't let people gaslight you about pineapple hurting your mouth. Oh, I like mm. used to like pineapple too. Now I'm going to think of that. Mm. Yeah, I still like it. I like yeah. a little flesh-eating bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Flesh-eating enzymes. <laughs> yeah. Hell nah, yeah. Not for me. I don't want to. Sounds too sciencey too. Yeah. Exfoliate my mouth. Don't think that's what flesh-eating enzymes <laughs> do, Demetra. I think it's exactly what they do. It might they be. Exfoliate the flesh. <laughs> do you have any um? This is the next thing I asked our audience. Do you have like a TikTok rabbit hole you go down? Is there like something on your TikTok feed that you constantly get served because you always like watch it? I don't actually watch TikTok that much. Mm. So like when it first came out, I was watching it a lot, but I don't think I do that much. Really? Yeah, yeah. One of the few. Mm -hmm. Here are some of the weird ones people have been talking about. Scenic pisses. Oh, no. So this is basically, you'll see a stream. You won't see the penis. You'll see a stream and then it'll pan up and you'll just be in the Alps of Switzerland. Beautiful. That's so funny. And it's this whole hashtag That's of just people so like being in like funny. a mountainous region or like a beautiful oh, city. Beautiful. But then you just starts with the stream and oh, it's <laughs> so fun. It's like a mini waterfall. I'd watch that. That's I'll so show good. you. I'll show you one as an yeah, example. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get that onto my for you page. I'm just gonna turn off the audio because it's always copyright music. Yeah, but yeah, you don't yeah, need to course, see it. Of course, of course. Sing us some. Uh, since you're gonna sing to your future wife sing us some music for the tiktok the sun will come out tomorrow pet your bottom <laughs> tomorrow see the stream that is oh, a I beautiful, believe I can beautiful location i believe yeah. i can so it's just all that so i that's like a fun that trend one. that's yeah. super fun Send, nice send that to me, Tom. It's Get that on my Not something women can page. participate in, though. Yeah, they can. Women can do <laughs> just anything. Ah, just women can do anything. Guys can, Demi. You're right. They do have those things that are like little cups that, like, it's you she-wees. know, those piss ones. Yeah, the shiwis. Yeah. Shiwis. So, so does it come out like spraying? Like, yeah. No. Oh. So like it doesn't a, come out as a stream. It comes out as a stream, but it's underneath. How am I it's supposed a bit, to angle it's a it bit, up? It can no, be. but you go through the legs, and then you just sort of just like dodge it. I guess. I guess so. You just got a phone under the Or can you side? You can't side saddle, can you? Nah, like, it's not that powerful squat, that I just like over. put my leg up and it like. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely just more difficult. Yeah. Yeah, it's more difficult, so but not with the shiwi. Is yeah. this an ad for shiwi? Yeah. Are we even Guys, this is Brand brought deal. to you by, by shiwis. <laughs> um, she's got a wee. That's it's, it's in the name. We also hiwi's coming soon. Stay tuned for them. I think God made hiwi. No, it's a different hiwi. Even better. It makes hiwi. us piss down. Oh, Father mm. out no, of heaven. We can still do that as well. No, it makes us piss in our own mouth. So do you sit on the toilet when you piss or do you stand? Stand. Stand? I did I, a joke about sitting I down. Met I met a bunch know. of guys <laughs> recently who were like telling me they sit on the toilet. I didn't realise it was a thing. Depends. If it's you were not gonna a thing. if you were gonna go number two, you'd sit yeah, down because yeah. it just makes sense that rather makes than sense. stand and yes. sit. Well, how did you um, even stand? You're standing over the <laughs> bowl. Yeah. I stand to shit sometimes. No. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, no, it's just you don't want to get in the habit of sitting down to pee. But it's like those fall dogs. In the water? You it's know, gross. like some male dogs. Oh, in America it would. America's toilets. Have you noticed that they're heaps more filled with water? I have, yeah. That's fucking when I came odd. He- I came here, I didn't realise, but then I came here like to stay with my mum. and her- There's like hardly any water, yeah, right? Yeah, I asked and Then in America, it. <laughs> it's like to the top of the bowl. It's weird. I know. Very strange. Yeah, well, uh, what's... It's like a little jacuzzi. Why is there so much... Is it to stop the stuff? Like, why is there so much water? I don't know. I different no toilet reason. designs. Yeah. Like everything's, their toilets everything's are bigger in America. Yeah. America. Big American <laughs> shits. <laughs> 
Um, what else? What else have you got, Frenchie? You got anything? Oh for yeah, us? okay. Thanks, bro. You're um, just taking the day TikTok off. Oh well, well, no. Well, I thought you had so many, so I was like, um, yeah, but I'm not done connected. That, done yeah. that. Done that. I do have the AFL scandals list. We could do that. That's a long one, though. I reckon save that. Save I went that. to the NRL in Vegas. That was pretty oh, fun. Oh, yeah. How was that? That was sick. What was the vibe like? See- you know, it was really oh, nice because yeah. I hadn't, like, been around a, a bunch of Australians in a really long time. And it was just, like, all these Aussies yeah. had flown in. Yeah. And, like, everyone was wearing their jerseys. And everyone was in such a good mood, even, like, yeah. the opposite teams just because they were happy to be there. It was really lovely. Was it packed out? It was not packed out. It was a giant stadium. But there right. was a lot of people there. That's cool. Yeah, it was really awesome. Did they awesome. do the tailgate and stuff? You know, no. They, no. Oh, no. That would have been cool. They did I've the Aussie tailgate, tailgate, mate. Yeah, it looks fun. I, I've never been. I haven't been to many football games, but my friend Julio, who lives in Texas, took me to a Longhorns game. That would have been cool. And it, Which is college basketball, uh, so college football. But yeah. they're real fucking serious about it. They yeah, had like, yeah. drones, fireworks. Like, it was it's the next level production value. It was, yeah, yeah, it was next level. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I went to a tailgate before then. It was fucking cool. Yeah, that would have been <laughs> sick. Um, do you not have internet? Because you've still got heaps of good stuff on your side. There's a Survivor. Yeah, yeah, but I don't want to get in, into okay, anything, anything that long anything at this time. Long. Oh, yeah, we can just fucking... Um, easy then. Yeah. I think... I think yeah. <laughs> Put the laptop Well, away. there's nothing more on my side, so we prepare... We're, spoiler, we prepare different uh, topics and things oh, for nice. the podcast each and... Uh, <laughs> And uh, mine's my side's gone already. Went was your quick. side just it was mostly pedo wood. It was mostly pedo wood. I allowed a good twelve to fifteen minutes for that, and it was done in forty five <laughs> seconds. And it was still mostly mustache chat. So. Why Big did you think dive? I had fifteen minutes of content to give you about that? <laughs> Well, I just wanted like like stories about like you seeing Why would you think celebrities <laughs> at like supermarkets and stuff. I thought there'd be heaps. No, there's not. <laughs> yeah. Well, we know Maybe that now. Maybe the celebrities aren't shopping at the fucking 99 cent store that <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. Well, we know that now. What about... um? They got an error one. Scary movie guy. Oh, my old business partner. You know What's what? this? My old business partner was the... Who I started the self-tape studios with is the guy from... The, like the lead in Scary Movie. Which one? The guy who's... The guy that plays Bobby. He like comes on the it roof. He comes the yes. girl and sticks it to the roof. That's awesome. How good's that? I would call John an A-list. I love you, John. But I don't know that I'd call I'll John. call you an A-lister, John. <laughs> if he came to Australia, he'd be hosting everything. <laughs> yeah. Probably. He'd be on the he mass singer. He would be yeah. on the mass singer for sure. I know oh, for easy, a fact easy. John can't sing. <laughs> oh. I'd be out quickly then. Him yeah. and Barry Hall. Don't give Hall. it away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, um, celebrity, I'm a celebrity just starting. Oh, yeah. Frankie Munez is on yeah, it. Yeah, that's cool. That. He seems like a nice dude. I've seen like him on Steve-O and stuff. He seems I think it's hard being nice. a child star. Yeah, for sure. You, you know, have he to seems be so like smart. a really nice dude. He's very bald. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, well, that happens. That happens. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. Like your fucking used to... upper lip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> no, we're used to seeing child, him as a child star yeah, and yeah. they've got the most hair as kids. Yeah, he's a dad yeah. now and shit. You know, yeah. you know what I find really fun, funny about Frenchie? <laughs> so on the channel, <laughs> if people like comment like shit things about him, he takes it on stride. He takes it real good. Oh, yeah. Unless they comment about his fucking hairline. That's when oh, yeah, they get that. blocked don't and fucking like deleted immediately. Don't do that. It's very yeah. sensitive. It's just he's mean. Sensitive. It's just mean. It's my channel. The fuck? I almost tagged you one today because <laughs> Isaac put up Isaac Butterfield put up a story about how he got approached for like a brand deal with a Turkish hair implant thing oh. and he was saying like how dare you and I was going to be like Frenchie that's yeah, a we should sponsor go, bro. We. I want to go for the camaraderie too like well not you but like <laughs> I get like three mates who've got bad headlines too and we go for the camaraderie I don't actually want to get it I'll watch them get it but no you should yeah, no not? bro it's not know. that bad you exactly get, like, it's not that bad you yeah. get like red hair put in I think you could get they 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 it transplant your own hair. No, but maybe it from some, oh, it transplants I don't from think it would take, but it could maybe be cool. Not. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, and I I'll think your hair can be saved with the rosemary water and the fucking rosemary water and the dermal rolling. Sounds like a Catholic thing. Yeah. No, no, no. Because your hair you like rosemary's. Yeah. It's a proven hair growth serum, rosemary oil. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Fuck, Frenchie's going back to church, guys. Mm. Yep. Yeah, okay, back to church to get the the rosemary well, how's oil. How's the end on of that me? prayer go? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our Father who art in heaven. 
Uh, anything else you want to talk about while you're here, Demitra? Demitra? Uh, no, yeah, I actually didn't have anything I wanted to talk about. You were just like, want to be on the potty? And I was like, yeah. I got nothing to do. Awesome. Thanks <laughs> for being here. We yeah. love having a chat with What's you every your, time you're back. Um, Instagram handle for people to follow your journey? Oh, who, whoever wants to follow my journey, it's Demitra, D3 M I T R A. Awesome. Unfortunately, D3. just D3. Demetra was ta- taken. Damn it. No, that's cool. D3, but it. you're the most famous Demetra. I know. We Googled, we Googled me the, it other the other day. day. So oh, congratulations. Cool. Name another me. Demetra. I couldn't. Exactly. Number one. <laughs> just I know Dimitri. Dimitri. Dimitri Martin. Camino. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. It's close. It's close. You've got him. Yeah. You've got him. Maybe he's got your handle. Maybe. In <laughs> Dimitri Martin. <laughs> um, thank you for listening, guys. Yeah. Um, leave lots of nice comments for Demi. On her stuff. Um, yep. We'll be back next week. Yep. And, and hopefully my moustache is wedding back week. by then. Wedding week. Hopefully that mullet's gone by then as well. It's not going. I'd like to congratulate <laughs> you boys. Look at this nice setup. Last uh, time I was here, it was oh, in yeah. a gr- last time I did the podcast, Cracked it was a green in. screen in fucking mm. Sam's fucking uh, warehouse, warehouse house. Yeah. home. Yeah. Where he put a bed in a, in a different part of the warehouse <laughs> yeah. and he had his green screen in the back. We've come a long way. We've yeah. got lights now. Good we choice. went from uh, you got Gavin over there. He's Gavin. like, <laughs> we went from Marrickville. <laughs> it was Gavin. Marrickville to Erskineville. <laughs> Classic Gavin. Grant, Grant. Close. Sorry, close. We you call got him, Grant We over call there. him Gavin. <laughs> he, he always feels like more of a Gavin. Yeah, I like that. Classic Gavin. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next week. See ya. Thank you for having me on. Amen. Yeah.